Hello everyone, this is Adel from Oz Engineering and in this video I'll show you uh, the basics of setting up a M-Harness simulation. Here we will see how to build a simple cable harness, how to create M-Harness sources and create M-Harness probes. This demo is available in the software example. So let's consider this uh, geometry uh, which you can draw from scratch or you can just load the given example file into discovery. And the first step in preparing the simulation is to define the computational domain. And to do that, let's start by selecting the EMA3D tab and click on Domain. Here we can expand time, lattice, minimum, maximum, and step size. We'll set the uh, lowest frequency to 1 MHz and the highest frequency to 500 MHz, which gives a step size of 60 mm. And we will change the lattice as follows. Later, we'll add a probe in this area. Once this is done, let's click Complete. Now, we can construct the harness cross-sections by defining the routes that will inhabit uh, each segment. So first, let me hide all components uh, except for curves, and also hide the domain. Now, let's select the M Harness tab. Click on Cabling, and select Shield. Select all five line segments. Then we need to add terminations. So we'll use the select point tool. Then we add termination points. Now let's click here. Select the library tab. Under general, let's go to TSP and select the 26 gauge TSP. And then we click OK. In the next step, we will nest a 24 gauge TSP within the shield we just created. Let's go here in the simulation tree, under harness, right click shield one, add cable, select these segments, I click here, Library, under General, Expand TSP, and double click 24 gauge TSP. Now use the Select Point tool and add termination. Once this is done, click Complete. Now we will nest three additional conductors inside of Shield 1. So let's go to the simulation tree, right click Shield 1, click Add and select conductor. Now we will select these segments and add terminations. Now let's click here, select the library tab. Uh, under general, let's expand the wire and double click the uh, 26 gauge wire and click OK. Now we can simply copy conductor one twice in the simulation tree. Then let's right click uh, conductor three and click edit. Here we will give the termination located uh, here uh, a 50 ohm resistance. So let's click on terminations and let's click here. Uh, I'll select this termination and I'll change the resistance to 50 ohm. Once this is done, let's just click the X uh, here and click OK. Now if I click here uh, on Inspect Cross-Section, we can visualize the cross-sections of three segments within the harness. Now we need to add a send and receive voltage signal on the conductors uh, of the TSP. So to do that, uh, let's click on pin excitation and then pin voltage.
let's select this wire and click on its termination point. Here we'll select layer 3. I'll select cable 1, C0. Click OK. We'll repeat the same step for cable 1, C1. Now if I go under sources, uh, you can see that we have pin voltage 1 and pin voltage 2. Now we need to create and add voltage signals to these pin voltage sources. So let's click on uh, rectangular in the signals tab. Let's change the duty cycle to 0.25 and rename the signal send. Now let's repeat the same step. This time we'll change the amplitude to minus one and we'll rename the signal receive. Now, as you can see, both send and receive are nested below signals. And now we need to uh, click and drag the send signal to pin voltage one and the receive signal to pin voltage 2. Now we want to examine the crosstalk between the conductors in the TSP and conductor 3. We need to create a voltage probe on conductor 3 and to do that let's click on cable, voltage, let's select the wire and place the probe on the termination point. Here let's select layer 2 and check the show labels box select conductor 3 and click OK. Here the voltage probe is in red and the sources are the green point. Now in order to simulate the problem we need to assign material properties to our geometry and uh, to do that let's select the EMA3D tab uh, in the ribbon, click materials, let's select PC. With the Select Surface tool, let's select Surface and all three solid to assign the material properties. Then click OK. Now we'll create the electric field probe that will capture the fields near our model. And to do that, let's click on Field, Boxed Region, Let's expand bounds, minimum and maximum. Let's set the minimum and the maximum as follows. And then click complete. Here in the simulation tree, under probes, we have our voltage probe and feed probe. And now the next step is to match the geometry. So let's click here. And now to start the simulation, we can click here and click run. Here under results, let's right click on field probe 1 and click on compute field averages. Analysis nice directions X, Y, and Z. Click OK. Now, if I go under visualization, I right click on field probe 1. Feed statistics one and I select show. We can see the results.
Now to view the results of the cable voltage probe, let's right click on voltage probe 1, plot. And here as you can see not a lot of crosstalk occurred between the, uh, the STP and the unshielded conductors. This concludes this M-Harness crosstalk demo. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.